So apparently several stalkers have been saying that V's dog is no longer with us and that stuff, which I think is very odd to say. We also have the crying over his dog on IG story and what that is about. And then we have people saying what V would be if he left the camp right now. So you don't believe this if hate it or not, make sure you subscribe to with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fan going on Patreon with some furry content on Saturdays now and let's go. There have been some viral photos going around and there's been several. I have seen so many of these types of photos, so I'm not trying to single out any specific photo or any specific creator that created any of these photos that I'm about to talk about, but I just want to say that I am, of course, going to talk about some specific ones. It's not just them, it's everybody. So of course, if you're not aware, some people have a lot of fantasies on what V is going to be like after he comes out of the military. So there's a lot of fantasies he's based off of, like what type of body he would have and all that sort of stuff. And since the community is always thinking about V and all the other members, anytime they think of anything that could apply to the other members, they tend to think to tweet about it, post about it, or come up with a full fantasy about it. And so a lot of people will either make up drawings themselves or even tweet some random things, or some people even take moments in a TV show or a movie and they talk about how this will apply to V after he comes out of the military. People are talking about V being extremely buff after he leaves the military, so there's a lot of comments and things that people are saying that V is going to look like when he comes out of the military. And being a super buff. There was this one drawing where he was in the kitchen or someone would, that was supposed to represent him was in the kitchen and you could see his back and it was super buff and super big. People are expecting that when he leaves the military he's going to look very broad. He's going to have very broad shoulders and very broad chest and all of this stuff. And it's making people very excited to see this as he will probably show pictures or whatever it is of him looking like this. Now I think it's totally fine to have these fantasies and to make pictures like this and also watch videos and movies and put V in there. I think it's such a cute thing. However, I do tend to worry about what any artist would think about this and whether it sets a weird precedent if V doesn't look super buff when he comes out or if it makes him feel like he is being sexualized. Of course, overall, I don't think this is going to be a huge problem, nor do I think he would actually care, but it's always a concern when people come up with fantasies, and especially fantasies that are fictional. So stuff that you see in movies or stuff that you see in drawings are not always things that reflect our real bodies and how they might look or how a real person might look. And I mean, V has a lot of stuff going on recently. He put out an Instagram story in which it seemed like he was very much missing his dog. And I think he left a caption to basically say that he does miss his dog. And I think people are getting really emotional about this, even just seeing it because they're seeing how much he misses his dog. And his dog has sort of become famous within the community, so a lot of people want to see him as well and miss his dog as well. A lot of people had this concern when he enlisted and any of the other members who have pets of how long it'll be before the members see their pets. And I'm not sure where V's dog is located, like if it's back home with his parents and his parents live in a different part of Korea or what the situation is, because even when you're in the military, you get time to come out. And I think only if you're doing specific missions or whatever it is, do you actually stay overnight. Whereas I think most of the time you're allowed to go home. However, I was never, uh, soldier nor am I one now so I can't say for sure so if you're someone who served specifically someone who served in Korea then definitely let me know what your experience is on that he posted several slides on Instagram showing moments and missing his dog and it made me super emotional to see how hard he is working and also how long he's been away from his family and all that sort of stuff of course if his dog isn't in the city even if he does have a day off, he probably isn't going to travel to see his dog because the day off would probably just be a day off. Like it wouldn't be enough time to go over, stay with the dog, hang out or whatever, and then come back. People were definitely wondering if he was getting super emotional in his Instagram story. Like he was posting this, he was almost teary eyed. Was he really upset or whatever it was? And I think he's working hard so that he can definitely have a day off, leave, and he can definitely go see his dog again and spend as much time with his family and dog. I can also imagine how hard this must be, but I can definitely see that it's something that pe most people within the community are also getting emotional about, which is not typical for most soldiers. So now it's not only that you miss your dog, but the whole community also misses your dog. And then there's this whole trending thing going on and a bunch of random things. I mean, I've even seen people get really upset to try to protest the military and saying that the military should be letting him go so that 
he can see his dog. On the other hand, while I do see a reason to be emotional and to miss your dog, I also see it as someone somewhat necessary as I would imagine that his family could just bring his dog around and he can just see his dog whenever. I think a lot of people think being in the military is like a 24 seven thing. And that's really only true if they're in a war, but if they're just like training, they can actually go home at the end of the day or night. So you got five or six or whatever it is, they go home. So it's not very typical that they stay all the time to the point where they can't even ever see their family or friends. And again, this is just from what I'm aware of and what my research has told me, if you're someone who has enlisted, especially in Korea, definitely let me know what the truth is. There's also a lot of people who are using this as an opportunity to talk about V and his dog in a way where it's not going to actually be a very positive thing. There were some people who were mocking V for some of the stuff that he's done and saying that his dog is going to pass away. And specifically, this is coming from the whole Jenny smoking rumor. So of course, when Jenny gets brought up, she's going to be associated with V because they had a dating rumor together. So what's going on with this and what happened? Well, of course, a lot of people think that V smokes and there have been a lot of images that would push people to think that. Let's just say that. So there's a lot of people that think that V and Jenny probably smoke together and also that V would have been smoking with his dog in the room. Now, if you're unaware, V has talked about in the past how his dog is not in the best of shape, as in he has difficulty breathing and he has failed two surgeries involving his lungs. So V cannot take his dog on trips or on planes or whatever it is because that sometimes becomes very stressful for him. And so some people have been saying or screaming animal abuse when they shouldn't be, saying that V might have caused his breathing to worsen or even say that it's going to cause V's dog to actually pass away because V is smoking around his dog. And I think this is extremely sick and disgusting because the fact that this is even something that's being thought of and that people are even coming up with this allegation is because those people must have had parents or someone that they knew that was actively smoking around them when they were a kid or maybe is still smoking around them. Because where do you even get this idea that someone who smokes is smoking around children or smoking around people who don't want to smoke? Other adults can usually grim and bear the idea of someone else smoking around them just because they want to be around the person that's smoking. Whereas I think it's common sense that if someone is smoking and there's children there, the children will usually be asked to go away or the person smoking will go away. And that's like saying if adults are sitting at the table drinking alcohol that they must be giving it to the kids as well if there are kids there. Like that to me is the exact same logic because just because someone is smoking doesn't mean that their kids are going to be inhaling that smoke or the pets are going to be inhaling that smoke. So as I said earlier, it is a bit sad to me when I see stuff like this because it makes me feel like they were around someone who was smoking and openly smoking in front of them. Of course, knowing that his dog might have breathing problems, he is not going to smoke in front of his dog. He's probably going to have his dog in the other room while he smokes or he doesn't smoke in the apartment. He smokes outside without his dog. He likely has a balcony. He likely has a bunch of different places in which you could smoke and he would do that and not bother his dog at all. So when I see stuff like this, obviously to me, it comes from a place of delusion comes from a place of them probably experiencing bad things, the haters, and that actually makes me a little bit sad because I wish that people wouldn't experience bad things so they wouldn't accuse other people of doing bad things. When most people, especially people who have class, are not living lives that are going to be mean to other people and inconsiderate towards others. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.